Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good, make you feel good. And evidently I like a good sale too, okay? So we already know I'm discount queen. But I posted this in a community tab and I was like, everybody go get this. I don't know what it smells like, but it just sounds good. The bottles are beautiful. I'm just saying, get the discovery set, a sample, something. Let's talk about it. Because I want to know what your thoughts are on these fragrances and hopefully... They'll run another sale and we can get us some full bottles. All right. So we were able to use a discount on the travel size, the samples, the discovery sets, as well as the full bottles. So let me know down below if you clicked on it and got you something. Because several people messaged me to tell me it was sold out. <laughs> I was like, Fred, I told y'all early. As soon as I got the email, I was telling everybody else. But anyway, let's back it up. I posted a video and I was talking about different fragrances, fragrances I purchased, fragrances I want to purchase that's on my wish list, all this kind of thing, right? I got a comment. If I could find it, I'll put it here. And he basically said that he ordered the, the coconut daiquiri fragrance. And I was like, it sounds like something I like. Because if you've been following me, you know, the coconut fragrance from, it's actually Pina Colada from Ganache, I can no longer get. And that's like one of my favorite fragrances every spring and summer. I spray that. So my bottle is empty now and I have nothing to replace it. I'm thinking, hmm, this might be good. So I'm about to pull up these notes. We're about to open up this package. It came today and we're about to see. Now I did order three, but I didn't order like the full fragrance because I just didn't want to spend the money and not like it or, you know, be confused about it. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do the sample decant travel spray type of situation i'm really trying oh they sent me a sample too y'all know first of all my doctor keeps telling me to wear these glasses and i really need to wear them so this one says oceanic symphony is the sample they actually sent me it's a nice size sample she could do something with this i'm just saying i could do something with this oh this one this smells good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Oceanic Symphony is full bottle. It's $149. Not bad at all. This smells good. This bottle is beautiful. I'm going to put the bottle right here so you can see what the bottle looks like. And this bottle, of course, they have shop pay. So if you want to do your little full payments, do your payments. I think you can check out with um, PayPal as well if you need to do four payments. It says, indulge yourself in a sensual journey to an island paradise with our luxurious summer fragrance. This is good. This is like filling this space right here. I didn't think that. Like, I can bear, like I almost taste it. And let me tell you what the notes are. Okay, we can't do this. We, we have got to follow directions. All right, so for the notes, let me press. So for the notes at the top, it says, bergamot, mandarin, orange, and lemon. Yes. Sea salt, musk from middle, and base is ambergris. Yes, this is like the male version of Judith Has God with sea notes and sea salt. Like this is so good, so salty and beach like. Man, like this is a man, man. He's at the beach, okay? Ooh, his little beach, you know, he's on the yacht for him. He's not at the beach, he's at the yacht. He's on the yacht. This smells good. Okay, so one for one. Let's get to the next one. So this is how they packaged them. They came like this in this little packaging. Actually, came in something else too. I just took it out. And they came. They have their own little Sphinx. Sphinx. How do you say Sphinx? Is it Sphinx? Like almost F, like S P F, like Sphinx. How do you say that? You know, country. Okay, so it does come with their own little travel spray. If you want the travel spray, and that's what I ordered. So this one right here is Heavenly Lilies, right? Heavenly Lilies. Girl, Oceanic Symphony is sitting like, like somebody's sitting right here. So this is the Lilies one. I'm gonna try to do all the other ones before we do the one that I know y'all waiting on. This bottle's a part of a different collection than the one I just showed you. So they have different collections, Old Kingdom, New Release, blah, 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 whatever. But I'll put what the actual 
line that it is in. So this one was the 10 mil spray was $19 and I was able to use my the discount, right? The full size bottle is 109. So that's not bad for trying out a fragrance, right? So it says that Heavenly Lilies is apart from other fragrances on the market. For starters, its luxurious bouquet of tuberose, carnation, and jasmine is perfectly combined by a touch of exotic ambergris. ambergris. All right, um, but don't stop there. It says it has Heavenly Lilies, also features coffee bean, which add a rich and complex aroma to the mix. Ooh, it's a pretty picture. Indian tuberose, carnation honey, gardenia plum, palisander, rose. I've never heard of that. Rosewood. Okay, bitter almond, ambergris, saffron, jasmine, musk, wood, cedar. Base is coffee, almond, bergamot, lemon, and taco bean. I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, what is that? Let me make sure this paper don't have a scent. Girl, this smells so good on this side. Hold on. I didn't get it on my hand. No, but I smell it right here. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is, I thought this was going to be loud and screechy and like, um, and like, um, I don't know. This smells good. Reminds me of something, but this smells good. Like several things mixed in one. Like I get like almond, vanilla, hints of coffee, and like a buttery, like tuberose is buttery. The white flowers are more like milky, like, like tonic buttery. They're not sharp. It's very smooth. This is um very mouthwatering. This is very gourmand. <laughs> gourmand. This is good. So this doesn't smell like summer so when i saw like two bros with all the honey the plums and whatever i don't know why in gardenia i just kind of thought it was gonna be bright and like summery but with the base and everything in the middle the woods the sap i don't do i get sap on? not right now but we're gonna leave this on and see what happens look at that oil content <laughs> this is even at 19 without the coupon right and if you log in you get 10 percent off or whatever this is still a good price for as much as you get, right? So, 10 mils. I, I just wanted to get these because just in case, just in case. So, I'll see how long it lasts. But this smells good. Very dessert-like. Dessert-like. Let me let me just let it sit for a minute. Okay. So, we're going we're gonna to use our, our strips. And we're going to spray on here. So, this one right here is another one. And I think this is one from the feminine line as well. This one is called Horchata. Horchata de Vanille. Horchata. I think that's how you would say it. Horchata. I'll put it on the screen, of course. This one is also $19 for this right here. Full size bottle would be $89. Girl, let me like this. So this one says it's a fragrance that will it's a fragrance that will transport you to the lovely streets of Mexico. So it's Hoshada. With each spray, the alluring fragrance will delight your sense and elevate your mood. That's what we need. So let's scroll down and see what these notes are. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, y'all don't know. This kind of stuff I like. Like, I don't know. Like literally. Like, this is literally, like, I feel like I'm eating this right now. I just put cinnamon and everything into my banana smoothie. Anyway, so this is cinnamon, vanilla, milk, rice, horchata, cream. What is going on? Oh, this is good. This is good. This is, um, oh, that cinnamon is sharp, like. Or I should just say cinnamon nutmeg. What is that? Allspice. That's why I want to say allspice. Oh, this smells so good. Like spicy coffee cake, but not coffee. Like a spicy cake that you would eat with coffee. 
Oh, this is so good. And my tongue, my mouth is watering. I would eat this. Mm -mm. Almost snooker, snickerdoodle ish like cookie. Like a snickerdoodle cookie dipped into some cream, like a heavy cream. The next one is the coconut daiquiri. That's the one where I was excited. This is the one that brought me to the site. Thank you for spending my money, sir. Because I did not plan on buying fragrances. And it says, oh, oh my God, everything's out of stock. Can't be. So the 100 mil is 149 and it's out of stock. The 10 mil is out of stock. It's sold out for the coconut daiquiri. Well, I'll tell you what it smells like and I'll tell you what it smells like to me. And hopefully you were able to purchase this as well. Look, hopefully, because baby, I did not know this was out of stock. All right, so this is what got me to the site. So it says coconut, lime, bergamot, mandarin, orange at the top. It says apple, fruit, yalong, yalong, jasmine, hibiscus, base, vanilla, rum, sugar, musk, and amber. <laughs> yeah, that, that smell, that's going to make this one smell sexy. Hey, what's on here? Mm. Oh, this is unisex. This is unisex. <sighs> you know, at the top, it smells like sherbet. Like sherbet. Like you open up the container sherbet immediately. <sighs> but then there's like something yeah like a coconut like coconut water like shaved ice like when you go to this the ice cream truck and like coconut lime vanilla that's what i smell and rum it's like an adult slushy with rum but not spice rum, like the clear rum, not Captain Morgan's, but like a clear rum, right? Why does this smell so good? What was this one again? That too. That in my mouth is just. <laughs> this is what happens when you're when you eat raw. Like when you smell like grandma and things, it, my my nose becomes very sensitive. When I'm doing like raw cleanses and just drinking juice or smoothies or, or eating raw, my uh, not only my taste buds are sharpened, but my nose, I can smell everything. Sometimes it's annoying. Heavenly Lilies. It's more floral now, but it's so pretty. Girl next door, pretty with the flop with the floral. See, what? Quest wants to be in the video. Can you get the dog? Uh, Quest bites, just so y'all know. Mm. This is amazing. Like, if I had a man, I would buy this for him immediately. He would have this this summer. Like, this is the perfect, like, gift. Like, for a guy who likes boating, yachts, being out, outside, and it's hot. Like, outdoorsy type of refreshing, cool, bright. Like, the guy who would like I, light blue, but this is way better, way better, much smoother, not sharp at all, much cleaner. The salty note makes my mouth water. This is so good, but what does it smell like? Oceanic Symphony. Yes to that. All men need this. All men need that. This right here, I'm about to spray this again. Which one is this? So this is... Oh, this is so good. Okay, so I'm going to spray this. I'm going to let it sit. That's the coconut daiquiri. This one is the heavenly lilies. Oh, this is so good. I don't even have to spray it again, but I'm going to spray it because I want to see, you know, what I think in about 30, 40 minutes and I'll pick up the camera. And this one is the... Girl, this is so... <laughs> yeah. 
I'm so excited about my little purchases. All right, let me go sip on my ah, snack. I'm back. Let's talk about it. We're going to start off with Oceanic Symphony. Oceanic Symphony is a beautiful scent to my nose. And I have washed my hands and I can still smell it. I just want you to know. But it smells good and clean. And even though I know fragrances are genderless, this is a masculine scent to me. Very masculine leaning. This smells like to me, if I put Dolce and Gabbana light blue and Judith has a gun super dose together and then added some salty seed notes sprinkled in. That's exactly what I get from this fragrance. Even though I would wear my blue because it's clean and it's fresh and it's citrus, right? And bright and with muskiness. And then you have Judith has a gun, which I absolutely love to spray with every and anything. And men would wear that too, both of these, right? Well, all this unisex. What makes this more masculine to me is like a C note, like uh, they're saying C notes, but I see something blue, almost like like water and mint. I, I can't really describe it, but it's really good. It's really good. This is really good. Every man needs this. When it first opened, it is extremely bright. It is bergamot, lemon, zest, clean, beautiful, clean man. Like boating yacht, like dude. If you if you like those clean scents, at least get a sample. The, the, how much is the 10 mil? I don't know. It's probably one of the more expensive ones because it's brand new. It just reminds me of like blue, but it's cleaner. It's, it's a screechy and I can still smell it. Like after washing my hands, I can still smell it. Whereas I tell you, I, I lose like blue. So anyway, I digress. I'm buying that for my son for sure. At least a 10 mil. All right. So let's get into this one right here. What is this? This is, this is. Horchada, Horchada de Vanilla. All right. This is not for everybody. This is for the 15% who like gourmand, like real literal gourmand fragrances. These, this is for someone who likes the lactonic, milky, creamy, thick drink. This is a thick, been sitting on the stove, stirring. What's that stuff they use in oatmeal sometimes? Carnation, like that white can, that thick stuff. That's that with milk and cinnamon and spice and sugar. That's what this is. This is like something you would normally sense or smell during Christmas, like Christmas cookie time with a candle from Bath and Body Works. That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of more of a home scent that you would smell during like fall when people like those type of cinnamon, creamy, very cozy, warm scent. The more I wear it, it just smells like that that stuff. I can't think of what it's called. It's this, the white creamy stuff. It's very sweet to me. I, I can't do it, but carnation is all I can think of. With cinnamon, and it reminds me of something a friend of my grandmother used to make when we were little. And so it's just very gourmand. So if you're not cinnamon, milk-like type of, like a thick milky oatmeal with cinnamon, yeah. But when I first spray it, I immediately get like snickerdoodle. My mouth waters and it just smells like snickerdoodle cookies dipped in that warm, creamy, whatever. I don't want the full bottle. This is enough. I'm, when fall and winter come, I'm probably going to spray it because it's probably going to smell good then. And I'm probably going to use it like a home scent. But as on my body, I don't know if I want to smell like that, which is weird because I love smelling like coffee and cream and all things that's like very gourmand. But this is so literal. This is like maybe too milky for me. Yeah, almost like it's not even heavy cream. This is condensed milk. That's what this is. This is condensed milk, cinnamon. It's strong. It's good, but it's strong. So that's that. I won't be buying the football. I thought I wanted when I first smelled this snicker. The, the, the instant, that instant reaction got me. But now it has settled on me, and literally it has settled, and it just, I can smell it. It's just, it smells like a drink. It's like a drink. Okay, moving on. Sorry, this is extremely long. I know, but I'm sorry. So this one right here is 
Heavenly Lilies. Definitely getting a full bottle of this. I love this. This is beautiful. This is gourmand, musky, yeah, with florals. And I don't really know how to describe this, but I do get like hints of tuberose, hints of, hmm. So all the flowers are buttery. Just imagine the flowers being buttery, like buttercream, buttery, tuberose, gardenia. I get gardenia in this, which is very strange because I normally would pick saffron out before I pick like a white floral, right? So just imagine a buttery florals. The white florals are buttery and with like a pinch, a little bit of saffron, some vanilla, like some musk, some woods. It's very good. So it's still gourmand because there's something in here and it's very inexpensive. What is it? 109? I don't even remember how much it was. Anyway, so this one... There's something else in here. This 10% keep popping up. I don't know if this count. So this one, so it says jasmine, right? Almond. That's what it is. It's almond. So almonds in here twice and tonka bean and coffee. So that's what makes it kind of like creamy. And but this is good. This is really, really good. It's like all these notes are in this fragrance, but it's so well blended. You're literally trying to pick those notes out. So the almond is so beautiful and clean and pretty. Like I would probably wear this year round, definitely. I wouldn't overspray like in summer because like right now it's like 107 index right now outside. But I would wear this. I would wear this like especially on my clothes, but not like right here. But it's not strong. It's just that for me, it's more like spring and fall and winter. I don't know. I really like this, but it's not a heavy fragrance. It's, it's the sweet creaminess of the buttery of the buttery florals. I don't know, but this is good. I recommend this. Anybody like florals? And not screechy. Like pretty soft gourmand with florals. Like this is the well-balanced gourmand and floral. Like this is so well-balanced with sprinkles of wood. Like this is good. So coconut daiquiri, which is crazy that I like this one better. The lilies. But anyway coconut daiquiri so if you're from like the south you know then you know when you go up to like the snow cone truck you can order a lot of snow cones with this cream in it right so you go up to the truck you ask for like a coconut daiquiri snow cone so i'm thinking like coconut fresh clean coconut almost pina colada-esque but not so sweet with clear rum and a little cream that's all i get so this is definitely a unisex scent. And when you hear this, it sounds very, um, I almost have it, it would be feminine. But the rum in here makes it lean, you know, just a little bit on the masculine. Coconut makes it lean a little bit on the feminine. So this is like the perfect, like balance between the two. So when I first spray this, I get this burst of sherbet and lime and coconut with a creaminess. As it dries down, it's like having one of those daiquiris with, with some liquor in it. But but the liquor is the clear rum. It's a really good, nice one that's very smooth. So it's not cheap and sharp, right? So this is this is good. <laughs> Getting a full bottle of that one too. I'm already on the wait list. <laughs> what? Y'all y'all sold that thing out. So anyway, Sphinx Cosmetics. I don't know. Send me something else new to try. No, don't. Please don't. Please don't. Wait till July. But um, this is good. I'm enjoying this. I'm excited. I found something that was really good and affordable. And the fragrances are just like, wow. I don't regret buying any of this at all. This is so literal. I have to wash this off because I just drank this huge. I just drank my, my snack before dinner. And um. It's like I'm still smelling it over and over and over. Like it's loud enough where I'm just moving my arms and I'm smelling all four. So I'm about to wash these off. And tonight I think we're sleeping with um, Oceanic. <laughs> that thing smells sexy. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I don't know. I think I'm going to spray like Oceanic and then compare it with the spraying like the Super Dose and the Dolce & Gabbana together and see what I think about the two. What I think this is more citrus lime. Whereas Dolce & Gabbana is more with grapefruit or something. I don't know. Whatever. But 
anyway that's it for me this video is extremely long thanks for hanging out with me today i appreciate you all once again if you ordered please put down below what you ordered and let us know what was your favorite or just rank them if you bought them all and um i'm absolutely loving the bottles the bottles are gorgeous i just want like a couple of those bottles so i think that's my next that one in zerjoff zerjoff i've been very it has <laughs> picked my interest i took a whole little zerjoff seminar and now I'm just like, mm, I want all them too. But I think I'm going to try to get some of these. This is good. I like this. This is different. A little unique. Uh, you know, this and, and definitely unique. I mean, I don't have nothing to smell like these too. <laughs> I don't. Coconut, whatever. With coconut daiquiri and that horchada. 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 De Vini. Oh. I need to start back taking my classes because my Spanish is horrible. Peace out.